Okay, we are going to get get started. I would like to call to order our public hearing via Zoom or teleconference Monday, February 8th, 2021, 7.31 p.m. Meeting of members, we'll seat our regular members, Kim Tester, Elaine Curley, Alan Johnson, Dave Miller, and myself, Jim Conway. Proposed regulation section 13, parking. <clears throat> On December 14th, 2020, the Roxbury Zoning Commission approved for public hearing proposed amendments to the Roxbury Zoning regulations pertaining to parking. The commission will conduct a virtual public hearing on February the 8th, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. via Zoom and teleconference. The purpose of the hearing is to solicit public comment on the following amendments. Section 13.3.8, chart of dimensions for parking layouts in feet will be deleted and replaced by following new chart which proposed a reduction in the size of the aisle width traffic lane as follows. Proposed new chart in section 13.3.8. And I'll quickly go through these dimensions for standard parking spaces in aisles. Parking angle of 90 degrees will have a space width of nine feet, space length of 18 feet, and the aisle width one way would be 24 feet, two way would also be 24 feet. Width at curb, nine feet. And the chart also, if it's 60 degree parking, we go to 21 feet in length, 45 degree parking is 19 feet, 10 inches in length. 30 degree parking is 16 feet, 10 inches. Parallel parking would be 24 feet in space length. Basically, simply um, the configuration of a parking lot so people can pull in, back out, and have adequate space to back out and pass each other, either one way or two way traffic. Um, the old regs, if you studied them, were larger. Um, to the, not, it wasn't necessary to be that large and it took up a lot of extra space. These regs, I believe, are more of a common uh, chart used throughout the state. We were just bringing our parking chart <clears throat> kind of up to speed uh, with other areas, towns. So that was the public notice of public hearing. <clears throat> it went to town clerk on January 4th, 2021. It's the sent via email to the public notice registry on January 4th, 2021. It was referred to the Planning Commission as well, January 4th, 2021. And I will read you their response uh, at a regular meeting, Roxbury Planning Commission held on January 14th. The commission reviewed a referral from the Zoning Commission proposing amendments to the Roxbury Zoning Regulations pertaining to parking. The commission Planning Commission reviewed and proposed text amendments to 1338 chart for parking layouts and feet of the zoning regulations and agreed they were compatible with the plan of conservation and development. They thanked John Cody for reviewing the proposed changes with them. 
Thank you for referring proposed amendments to the Rocks Ferry Zoning Regulations to the Planning Commission for review. Peter Filos, Chairman. <clears throat> it went also referred to the Northwest Hills Council of Governments and I can read their referral comment. Uh, the COG staff has reviewed this referral and finds no apparent conflict with regional plans and policies or the known concerns of neighboring towns. And it was Western Connecticut Council of Governments and they got back to us. Okay, the opinion of West Cog staff is that the proposal is of local interest with minimal intermunicipal impact. Therefore, it is not being forwarded to adjacent municipalities and the regional staff is making no comment. Naugatuck Valley Council of Governments. Um, basically staff recommendation, the proposed text amendment not to be regionally significant and have no apparent intermunicipal impacts. Those are our referrals. And now we'll open the public hearing for public comment or questions from the commission. I think everybody understands the changes. They're pretty insignificant. Um, it was just a very large piece of real estate that was required. We're just changing things a bit to bring it up to speed. So if we have no questions, no comments, um, I guess at this point, we'll, I would like to have a motion to close the public hearing. Uh, this is Kim Tester, I motion to close the public hearing. And do we have a second? This is Elaine. And I move to second to close the public hearing. Moved and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Public hearing is closed. All right, <clears throat> at this time, I would like to call to order our regular meeting of the Roxbury Zoning Commission via Zoom or teleconference Monday, February the 8th, 2021. The time is 7.41. Seating of members for our regular meeting. We will seat our regular members, Kim Tester, Elaine Curley, Alan Johnson, David Miller, and myself, Jim Conway. <clears throat> now, um, and we have no public comment this evening. Um, what we need to do is I've been informed that the agendas were not posted on the town's webpage. And Karen did some research with Gail. Gail said we can go forward with our meeting, but we have to motion 
every part of the agenda that we want to put on and discuss, just like we would do if somebody shows up. Um, so with that being said, I believe it's, I, we need a motion to put item number three, the approval of the minutes of the January 11th public hearing and regular meeting. Okay, this is Kim uh, Tester. Um, I motion to add uh, the approval of minutes for January 11th, 2021, um, public hearing and regular meeting to the agenda. Is that um, Jim, can I just make one suggestion? Yeah, um, sure. you, you, um, you could list everything that you want to be added and it could be all at once. Motion at the end instead of doing nine motions. Oh. No. Right. Do you want me to just read them all then? Well, well, I, we're I, I, not all. I think Jim will. Okay. Uh, um, that's why I was kind of going individually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's let's. It Do doesn't you take but a. Continue with that. That's fine. Yeah. Yep. Um, I just need the the. Uh, I need to figure out where we were. So that was item number three. Tim item is making the motion. Correct. Tim, and mm -hmm. do I have a second to put item three on the agenda? I move to uh, add item three to the agenda. I second it. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And opposed? Hearing none. Okay, we have item three of our agenda, approval of minutes, January 11th, 2021, public hearing and regular meeting. Do we have any questions, uh, amendments to the minutes? Uh, this is Kim on the um, public hearing minutes um, down under referrals and responses. It says Chairman Conway noted that referrals went to the follow. I should say following. <clears throat> and that's the only thing I have on there. Sorry, Kim, what page was that on? That was on the first page uh, toward the bottom under referrals and responses. Oh, this is the public, uh, the public hearing. hearing. I'm on public the hearing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and it says Chairman Conway noted that referrals went to the follow. Following. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay. Any other corrections? To the public hearing. I move that we approve the minutes of the public hearing dated January 11th, 2021. Motion to approve. Do I have a second? Uh, this is Kim. I'll second with the change. Very good. Yeah, sorry, all, as amended. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all in favor of approving the minutes of the public hearing as amended. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Those minutes are good. <clears throat> now we, uh, the minutes of the regular meeting, a little more to it. Uh, this is Kim. I just had one very little thing. Sorry. It was on the last page, uh, ZEO report, and it said John Cody noted, and then the second part says, but he expects it to get, not go get. All right. That was the only thing I saw. Thank you. Okay. Any other? <clears throat> If not, we have a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting as corrected, as amended. I move to accept the minutes of the regular meeting dated January 11th, 2021. Do I have a amended. second? Do we have a second to that motion? I second. Moved and seconded. All in favor on the minutes of the regular meeting? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Those minutes are good. 
All right, at this time, we're going to skip over item four and we're going to go to item five and we need to motion this onto the agenda discussion following public hearing on parking regulations. Okay, I will. A, okay, that's 4C. Oh, that's five. I got number five, discussion following public hearing on parking regulations. So I make a motion to, this is Kim, I make a motion to add the discussion following public hearing on parking regulations to the agenda for February 8th. And do I have a second for that? Oh, I see. Do I have a second? Dave Miller here, I'll second that motion. Thank you. Moved and seconded to add discussion, public hearing and parking regs. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so here we go. <laughs> We're gonna discuss our parking regulations. It was just, it was just something that needed to be done. And uh, they look, they're much better. They're cleaner, they fit better. And uh, it just, it was, uh, it needed to be cleaned up. Yeah, and this is Kim. And, you know, as, ha as often happens, it's a conversation with something happening in town that helps us understand, you know, what we have and what we need to upgrade. Exactly. And so I yeah. think that was, it was a very good adjustment to make. No, these, uh, the regulations, the more people that, read through them, they come up with things that, I mean, I don't sit and read this book every day. So I rely on everyone else to say, hey, you know, take a look at this. And like parking, I never even looked at parking regulations and then especially look at them and look at the, the dimensions. Um, so after this was brought up, you look at it and say, my goodness, you know, this is needed to be done. All right, well, Anyone else? I guess we have to. Karen, help me out here. We motion this or to approve. Yes. The um, amendments. Yeah. If your to... discussion's over, yep. Yep. So I will make a motion to approve the amended parking dimensions and regulations. I second. We have a motion and a seconded. Um, I believe now we go around and get everybody's vote. Right. Give the reasons for the vote. And a reason. And the vote. Yep. Yep. So we'll start with Kim. Uh, yes, I approve. I, it updates our regulations and brings them in line with what other towns are doing and makes it a much more reasonable expectation. Thank you. Size. Um, Elaine? Um, I move to approve um, the um, parking regulations because um, it's sensible, reasonable, and current. Thank you. Alan? I move to <clears throat> accept the, these recommendations. Uh, it, for the same reason others, it's it's more updated, sensible, reasonable uh, for, for everybody involved. Thank you. Uh, Dave Miller? Yes, I move to accept the uh, change in the parking regulations. I think that um, you know, John Cody made a good recommendation and uh, it makes perfect sense to bring us in line with other communities. And I think Thank you. And I as well uh, will vote to approve. Um, as like everyone says, it brings it up to date, <clears throat> better utilization of the space and uh, make things easier to work with and live with. Okay, so it sounds unanimous. And so that closes that out. Um, <clears throat> there's 15 days 
period. And then uh, the new parking regs become effective. And now I'd like a motion to put the zoning enforcement officer report on our agenda. Uh, this I'm, is Elaine. I'm, go ahead. Oh, sorry, Kim. No, go ahead. Um, this is Elaine. I um, make a motion to add item six CEO report to the agenda to be heard this evening. Thank you. Do I have a second? This is Kim. I'll second it. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. ZEO report is on our agenda. Um, John, you have the floor. Thanks, Jim. Uh, John Cody speaking. Um, let me start off. I got a lighting complaint on 73 gold mine, typical uplighting in trees, stuff like that. I sent a certified letter to, uh, unfortunately, a PO box. I haven't gotten a response yet. Um, I have to work up with my next approach, how to get in contact with these people, but I, I, I'll get it resolved one way or the other. 27 Garnet, I had a complaint about illegal tents. Uh, these people had three tents in the back of their house, large party types things. I sent them a letter. She responded, she's in Ecuador, and uh, said that she will take them down as soon as she gets back. And I said, no rush, it's winter, I can understand that. Not a big deal. Mark Law, uh, the berm, 1012 Baker Road. Good news there. I believe the berm is done. Uh, the dirt's been put there. Now we just need planting in the spring. Hopefully that'll be done and resolved. Uh, the Carter thing is status quo. We don't have any movement on that. I we'll have to figure out what our next step is. Uh, that is... Pretty much it for enforcement issues. As far as applications, we have a new apartment going in down in Blueberry Lane, a new house on, I believe, on Minor Bridge coming in, and numerous. I, I get tons of requests and, and questions on application process, but it, <clears throat> it's been busy down there. <clears throat> what, John, what do you have for an apartment on Blueberry? Now, Blueberry's off of Chalby's, right? Yeah, Massey's there on Blueberry. They have a old workshop that they want to convert into a into an accessory apartment. It's a nice little structure. They want to bump it out just a little bit. No wetlands concerns, no, no other concerns. They're good to go and waiting for their application to come across the board there. They just need to submit a check. Good. Um, Great. Uh, one thing of wetlands, there was a violation there for... Um, uh, cutting down around a tree within a hundred foot, uh, I'm sorry, cutting around a pond within a hundred foot setback area. They pretty much clear cut that. That was addressed. The contractor ignored that decision to stop work, continued with it. Wetlands decide to find that contractor $1,000 on that. So that's a different area of Roxbury, but it's something <clears throat> I don't know. And that's Good. It. Um, yeah, I have no questions. Anybody has any questions for John? Um, if not, we are going to continue on. I do need a motion for my chairman's report. Uh, this is Kim. A motion to add, I make a motion to add the chairman's report to the agenda. I have a second. This is Elaine. I move to add, I second uh, the motion to add the chairman's report, item seven. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Good. We have our chairman's report on the agenda. Um, what I want to just bring up is at our last selectmen's meeting uh, last Monday, Barbara is um, looking into combining commissions. So that would be combining planning and zoning. I really don't know what brought this up. It was kind of out of the, all of a sudden. <clears throat> and at our selectmen's meeting, I, I'll be 
perfectly honest with you, I was not in favor of combining it because I think right now Roxbury's, what we have is working. Um, we have two separate commissions, but we work together when needed. Um, I had a question on whether the P and Z would become all elected and <clears throat> no appointed, everybody would be elected. Um, Russ was somewhat uh, not on board. We were all kind of curious as to where it was coming from. Uh, we've been here before, a couple of years back, it was discussed and it, nobody was in favor then. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know that this is out there in the wings. And then there is possibly talking about the Conservation Commission joining the Wetlands Commission. Um, I had a lot of reservations with both. It, um, it, it does many things that it takes a lot of people, like if we had one planning and zoning, instead of 10 to 15 people, you'd only have eight uh, involved and it, and it takes away the amount of people that can, can, um, that can volunteer in town. So I wanted to keep it what we have. And also I think is if we joined commissions, it would be a larger number and it would be more difficult to make the changes that, that we make um, cause to get everybody on the same board table, plane, whatever. But anyway, she, Barbara is going to pursue this and, you know, if you have some thoughts, you can send them along cause we're all zoning commission members here and it's, uh, it's up to us. And I, I like it. The, I like it the way it is. It seems to be working. I have a question. Is, do you think this is coming from, um, is, there, is there a push in Connecticut to make changes to or get rid of? Yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff going on, um, but I, it could be from something like that. I don't know, Barbara just threw it out there last week and it's like, whoa, um, okay. the whole desegregation of Connecticut thing, we discussed that. Obviously it was in the paper and uh, there again, I was not in favor of that for many reasons. You can't, uh, to me, I don't think you can have one zoning blanket that fits all towns. I mean, every town is an individual town and we have our people want what they want. And um, anyway, that, that's a ways off, I hope the desegregation thing, but, um, but no, I, don't, I personally, <clears throat> I am not on board with combining planning and zoning. It's not that I don't, I, I think a lot of the, the people on the planning commission, but uh, what we're doing right now really, really works. And I like to keep it that way. So that was, that was all I had for chairman's report, just food for thought. It's, they're kicking it around out there. I would like to comment on the, um, on the land and the um, zoning uh, changes planned for segregate Connecticut. Zoning is about land use and uh, demographics change grossly from urban to rural. So it, it, there, it, it seems impossible for them to implement um, what they're talking about. You know, obviously they can streamline some things, but it, I think in the state, it would be a very, di very difficult hardship to attain the goal as presented. And as far as the P and Z combination, if I recall uh, when, they considered this years ago. Um, I was working on another project. Um, and so I took the opportunity to interview uh, other zoning officers in other towns 
about whether their structure was P and Z or separate issues. And, and I did remember it, got, it gets very complicated at times when the two uh, commissions are combined. Yeah, one thing, for example, we went through it with the, the plan of conservation and development that the planning commission just uh, adopted here last year, year before last. But there was a section in there on um, making the center of Roxbury the commercial zone. And people were like, why is that even in there? You know, but it was in there. And I said, well, then they came to zoning and well, zoning, you have to make changes to allow this. And I said, well, we're not gonna make any changes. So it's like checks and balances. It is a checks and balances system and this way. If, if, exactly. And if we were one commission, it was a done deal. Um, but this way here, we had our, our chance to say no. And I think everybody felt better with that. Um, I like what we've got. So a little note to Barbara, <laughs> see where it goes, but uh, it's up for discussion. She wants to have more meetings. Um, I'm just gonna continue to, I don't agree with it. Thank you for telling okay. us about it. Uh, Jim, it's John Cody. Um, if everyone wants, I can forward all that desegregate Connecticut emails and seminars and Zoom meetings to everyone. I highly encourage people to attend. Yeah. Forms. yeah. I would like the info. Thank you, John. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I've seen it because we had it on our selectmen's meeting and there's like 40 some pages that I leafed through. And uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, there's some Zoom meetings. If you can attend the Zoom meetings, Senator Hawley or Hawang is really good. He's very outspoken. knows what he's talking about. It, it's... it's Scary, yeah. but um, I'll, I'll send it on. Okay. Um, we do not have any communication. Karen, do we have communications? None. Sorry, I couldn't find my mute button. Uh, no, we do not. Okay, so there's no point in putting that on. Right. Um, I think we covered it. This was just a little glitch with the agenda not being on the town website. Um, so Karen got right on it at uh, five o'clock and talked to Gail and Gail said, this is what we could do to salvage the meeting. And I think we did a, a good job and um, we should be all set. So with that, uh, I'd like to thank you all again and uh, ask for a motion for adjournment. Uh, this is Kim, I motion that we uh, can adjourn the meeting or do I motion that we put it on the agenda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure which. I motion that we put it on the agenda. For that okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And uh, do I have a second to adding a item nine adjournment to I our agenda? Dave Miller, I second that. Moved and seconded. Uh, now, all in favor? Aye. 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 Now I'd ask for a, a motion to adjourn. Dave Miller, I make a motion we adjourn the meeting. <laughs> Thank this, you. This is Elaine. I'll second the motion to adjourn the meeting. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, guys, we got through it. And um, like I said, there'll be stuff next month. And we're going to I start looking into uh, zone A and making some discussion, just at least talking about it and see what we want to do. There's a ton of stuff we can do in zone A. Just throwing something like uh, an interior lot. Can you imagine it's got to be six acres? Six acres for one interior lot. I mean, it's a huge piece of property. Um, there's a lot of things we can do. So food for thought. All right. Good night, all. Thanks. Okay. Thank you all for your patience with our unusual procedure tonight. <laughs> Have a good month. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. <laughs> you made it. You made
hated our interest in Karen. <laughs>